Hello everyone and welcome back to In Stars and Time. Uh, last time we've been spending time doing uh, basically uh, our character quests with our party, um, trying to figure out ways to help them and uh, you know figuring out a little more about their backstories. Mm -hmm. uh, we spent time with, oh she's moved. Yeah, uh, she went to take some time for herself. That's fair. We, we had a really long uh, and honestly really wonderful chat with uh, Mirabelle last time. Where we learned that she was trying uh, to make steps towards changing herself by, uh, you know, preparing to maybe date somebody um, after all of this was over, and we we talked through with that with her and learned that that is that is not something that is her, uh, and really just had a truly fantastic scene. Um, with Mirabelle. Uh, afterwards, we had an equally fantastic scene with Bonnie where Bonnie wanted to learn how to fight and uh, uh, defend us and defend themselves and learned that uh, the reason why Bonnie wanted to do that was because uh, they were tired of seeing us getting hurt and felt responsible for uh, uh, the injuries that we had received in the past and thought that we didn't think it mattered. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, just, man... I love our friends so much. I love them so, so, so much. Yeah, this, this cast uh, is truly spectacular. It, it was, God. last episode was uniquely fantastic. God. Um, like, and, and it stuck with me for a while after playing it. I um, think I think Mirabelle is going to go down as like one of my all-time favorite video game characters. And one of my all-time, I think, favorite uh, and I guess pinnacle representations of like of an air ace character too like mm -hmm. she's just wow just so good um and like I, I i i thought that the way they wrote her story was fantastic um we next on the list uh last but not least is going to be isabeau but i think we had to do a few other things in town just before we did yeah isabeau, isabeau is gonna take a little while i feel like we should clean some stuff up i also i guess i could go pick up some of the items that we get from around town too if we think that's important mm -hmm. uh i could get like the star-shaped leaf and stuff like that that's true yeah yeah, yeah. we could do that and okay. we could just like blow like blow through these conversations yeah if we want. like that is fine with me um uh, it's weird we can't skip. Huh. It's okay. I think this is just because this is a, a an item quest. That's fair. Uh, not a skippable thing. Oh, I guess not. Maybe you're not oh. the one that gives us the... I can't remember who gives us the, the star shape. Oh, yeah. It's okay, this one. It's the sky-loving kid. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I thought it was the one that... No, the the, the frog-loving <laughs> yeah, kid? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got the leaf. Okay, cool. I'll go get the uh, picture. I don't have to get everything. We I just figured everything, but it, it doesn't hurt to start. It feels good to have them. Mm -hmm. Oh. And they're always so cute. Every time they get shown, I'm like, oh, this is so cute. It's me. <sighs> Let's I see love what it, the drawings. I, I do too. What does it say here? It's you and your allies. Very cute. Friendship doodle. Thank you, talented one. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, all right, to the library. Oh, I never noticed Seif's little feet when when they're running. Yeah. <laughs> beep beep beep. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. See if we probably learn. this. Yeah. Yeah. Books about craft. What is craft? Craft for dummies. Creative craft. Scissors type in me. Okay. No. Okay. Maybe maybe you'll tell me. Uh, is, sorry. It? Okay. Are you anything about time craft? Time craft, like uh, specifically, I, I'm not sure. You should look through books about craft. Uh, we have one over here, but it, it might not talk about time craft much. I wonder where could you find craftonomy books? Oh, I know. Oh. Librarian notices your confusion. Oh, the study of craft in general is called craftonomy. I don't think the libraries here or in the house carry any. Maybe you should look elsewhere. Is that on the first or second floor? The the it's a craftonomy book, not a craftology book. I is I it wanna, first or second floor. I want to see it's the 
Uh, I wanted to say it's the first floor, but now I'm not sure. Okay. Also, why am I thinking about candles? I know, right it's now? the candles room with the. I, I know, yes. Must be nothing. Someplace other than the libraries. Maybe someone's dorm room in the house? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, shit, is that the first or second floor? I don't remember. So, okay, hey, you, hey, you. <laughs> oh, this is the sister or not? Yeah. Yeah. Something's weird about her. Some loop she mentions her sister, and other she says that she's an only child. Uh, you should ask her about Isabeau or a deal. Oh, hi! You're one of the survivors, aren't you? I recognize you! Oh. We've already asked about Isabeau and Odile. But yeah, do we, we have. Do it again? Maybe we try again. Okay, yeah. Odile? Yes, Odile! She's from Kabue, yes? My sister visited Kabue once. Did you know they call most people by their last names? Such a different culture! And this Odile, hmm, I can tell. She's like the mom of the group, isn't she? Huh? Something feels weird. When you asked her about Isabeau, didn't she tell you she was an only child? But this loop, she says she has a sister. Which country did you say your, uh, uh, did your sister move to? Uh, my sister? She's a few years younger than me. A few years ago, she decided to travel the world all on her own. She lives in another country now. Isn't that so brave? Living in a foreign country just like that? Ooh. But <gasps> which country? It's she went to the the erased island, I'm guessing. Oh, sorry. My sister lives in cuz the tre did you see yep. the trembling? <gasps> she lives in <gasps> My sister. We're getting static. We are. My sister. She's my younger sister. She's weird. She's brave. She likes to sing, and I. I. Can't. Remember. Her, her name? <gasps> my sister? What sister? I'm an only child, you know. What? Okay, well, that answers that. <gasps> oh, the chills that just ran through my body. That was so yeah, good. That and was we really went back good. in time a little bit. We did a little rewind. Did you see that? Yeah, that's happened a couple times. I know. Yeah. Wow. Because she, she moved to that island, so she can't be remembered. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Safety's just like, oh, oh. Okay, sorry, okay. I wanted to see if I could get a pan au chocolat, but. I had a pan au chocolat for breakfast this morning. Yeah, you did, you were preparing. You were I, like, I gotta get ready for in stars and time. Oh, I had pan au chocolat and I had a chocolate almond croissant and an, I had, I had, halves of each of them and then and the apricot croissant and it was so good that sounds amazing oh. honestly that sounds great it was, it was a pretty good pan of chocolate oh man but uh just to say i don't need one now fair enough it's been satisfied you've, you've, you've finally check check <laughs> and check uh is All there right. anything else in town that we need i feel like we're good i think we're good so we need to find a craft Doll craftonomy book, not a craftology book. It's in the room with the candles, which is on the first or second floor. I can figure this out. Yeah. It, depending depending on when we try to tackle this. Yep. We'll see. Craftonomy book and nothing else, I don't think, because we just learned about the sister. That okay. Yep. Okay. Isabeau is here looking towards the house. Hi again, Sif. What's up? Alright, let's do this thing. Hey, hey I finished helping everyone out. <laughs> Okay. Well, um, follow me, see if- You follow Isabeau around for a while, going through Dormont, then the forest, until- A field. There's nothing around. What could he possibly need? Uh, so, what do you need me to do? Huh? Oh, um... <laughs> lay down with me? Mm. 
and you lay down. <laughs> and then, and then, look up. You look up. Stars. Mm. So you can see stars from here. You can see stars. Yeah. Stars, stars, stars. All around you. Because sometimes it seems like Severin can't remember stars. Yeah. Or even everyone else can't. Uh, uh, stars are weird. St and stars in time. But, yeah. you know, like, there, there is something going there's on some, there. Yeah. There's some weirdness with stars. Yeah. You inhale sharply. You know, when you asked me if I needed help earlier, I wasn't sure what to say. I don't really need help with anything. And I did all- and I did all I needed to prepare for tomorrow and stuff. But I saw you run around and help everyone today, and that seemed kind of fun. And so uh, I thought, uh, Sif's making sure to help everyone today, but I just want to hang out with him. And so, um, uh, that's it. That's all I wanted you to do today. Just, let's just hang. Oh. Oh. This reminds me of... I was a teenage exocolonist. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. does feel like that. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Uh. Why stars? Oh. Um. So, you know how you said this word when you're annoyed or something bad happens? I don't know what language it is, but I always thought it was like a swear word. Like crab. And I looked in a few books, but I couldn't find the word anywhere, and I got really curious. Huh? And one day, I heard someone else say it. Oh, stars. Oh, stars. So I asked them, and they said it meant stars. And I noticed you do stuff about the sky. Oh, you know, I noticed you know stuff about the sky. You talked about planets once, and the sun. Like, you really knew what you were talking about. And sometimes, when we slept outside, you'd spend most of the night looking at the night sky. And I thought that was interesting, because I never thought about what's up there before. But, um... So I thought maybe, um... Like... You'd like, uh, to see the stars? It's my religious trauma of some sort, but, uh, okay. Together? Or just in general. I'm like really nervous. <laughs> oh no, was I wrong? I think what's interesting about this is I don't know how Severn feels I right now. You know, don't I mean? I'm like, yeah, <sighs> like gripping the blanket. Was it really more of an actual swear word like crab, where you don't actually like stars and stars are bad and gross? Did I, did I step in? Oh wait, did I step in it? Oh, did I mess up? No, you didn't step in it. Oh, phew. Oh, I got scared. <laughs> anyway, I've heard some people can see stuff in the stars sometimes. Like pictures. They're called, uh, const- uh, something? Constellations. Constellations! Yes, that! Do you know some? You look up at the stars. You don't recognize any of them. Oh, that's spooky. Okay, okay, okay. No. I don't know any. Not these ones. <laughs> Sorry, I just gave Gina a No, really I think that's what's implied, the... yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh. You're saying I didn't step in it, but... See if... Change the subject. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> Uh, tell me something. S something? Something about you. Oh, oh, okay. Um. Huh. Well, okay. You know I'm from Jovente, right? I've lived there my whole life. It's a nice big city. More than one house, too. Way bigger than Dormont. Big enough that you don't know the life story of every person you see. <laughs> Anyway, 
you might think it's surprising, I don't know, but when I was Bonnie's age, I was like the smartest smarty pants around. Not like slightly smart or anything, but like the nerdiest kid you can imagine. Huh. You have trouble imagining Isabeau as anything other than the boisterous man he is. <laughs> like, really imagine it. Big glasses, super neat braids, always knows the answer to any question the teacher has, always getting perfect grades. Always too shy and focused on grades to even know how to make a friend in the playground. That was me. And, um, I didn't really like myself. Cause like, I was smart, but I really hated being shy. Being alone. Not able to ask a classmate for a pen because I was so paralyzed by fear. I was ready to spend the rest of my life like this. But one day, after years of living like this, I looked at myself and the way I was and the way I existed in this world. I looked at that kid in the mirror and I thought, is this it? Is this really who I want to be? Couldn't I just be someone else? Someone that can make friends Someone people who could- someone people could love? Someone I could love? Someone I wouldn't feel ashamed of being? Couldn't I just... change? And that's one of the things people go to houses for, you know? To learn things. To train. To do body craft on yourself. To change! And you can stay for a bit and come back changed and no one would say a thing. They just accept the new person you've become. So I went to one of Jovente's houses and threw myself into it, trying to be the coolest, strongest, most dependable person around. Lifting weights, training my voice to be deeper, louder, crafting my own body to be cooler, stronger, looking at myself in the mirror every morning and yelling, I'm the coolest! Change is destruction, you know? To bring about change, you need to know you might hurt people. Might hurt yourself, even. So, you always have to be careful and think about whether the destruction you bring is worth it. I decided it was. So, the person I was before, I made them disappear. Killed them with my bare hands. Made sure they'd never, ever come back. So I could live. Ugh, it sounds so bad when I say it like that. The kid I was before is still here. I just mm, grew around them to protect them. Building an armor until it becomes the real thing. Uh, so I could become someone strong. Someone outgoing. Someone comforting to be around. Someone I would have liked to know before. <laughs> Meh. It doesn't matter that much. I I'm here, is what I mean. And I love myself so much more now than I did before. But even the person I'm now is a work in progress. I want to change still. I became a big and strong and dependable, happy-go-lucky dude because that's who I needed to be. But lately, I've been feeling like I need to let down the airhead facade a bit. Act less stupid, that sort of stuff. <sighs> It doesn't feel great when people think I'm stupid just because I act a certain way. So I, uh, I might change again. And become someone slightly new. That sounds cool, right? Oh. You never knew. Isabeau wanted to change. To become someone else. And he did. He must have worked for so long to make his wish come true. <laughs> I might change to be a mix between a, a jock and a nerd. 
balancing it all, you know? Yeah, be true to yes! you. Be true to yourself in all ways. Exactly. The true self you want to be. Yeah. You can have But also the true self that you are. Like yeah. all, you know. I I, I don't want to say like you can have an accepted all, but you can have an accepted all. Yeah. Like that, it, yeah. But just... I also, I do love, like, the halfway ground that he's describing, too. It's like, yes. in order to eventually be okay with myself and be true to myself, I needed to kind of have a, make myself into something a little bit different so that I could get there. Yeah. It's like a bridge. It's like, it, the, the... Yep. <laughs> Isabeau built, built himself a bridge. Yes. Yeah. And I love that for him mm -hmm. so much. Yeah. So you'll change into a nerd. So you'll change in, uh, jerd. jerd. <laughs> you'll change into a knock. <laughs> I like jerd. Jerd. More like a knock. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds better, doesn't it? Better mouthfeel. They both sound bad, Isa. No, don't say that. <laughs> you can be a smart... You can be a smart jock. You can be a buff nerd. I like buff nerd. I like buff nerd. Oh. Huh. You think I'm buff? <laughs> <laughs> you quickly look away from him. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, after we beat the king tomorrow and go our separate ways, I'll just change into someone else. Someone who can be both strong and smart. Both at once. <laughs> what a concept! Doesn't that sound like someone cool? Doesn't that sound like someone who wouldn't feel ashamed? You wouldn't feel ashamed of knowing. Is that what he thinks? Oh. Isa. <laughs> yeah, Seif. I have never felt ashamed of knowing you. Not even a little bit. You're gonna make me blush, Steve. And, well... You, you know I feel the same, right? You're like, maybe the coolest person I know. You know that, right? That's a little sad, man. I'm kind of going through it. Oh. And I really like spending time with you. Well, he's got a, a crush, I know, so... I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the blinders on I a know. little bit. <laughs> <laughs> when we hang out, I always discover new things, like cool theater stuff, or even just something new about you. And I like how you always have a pun ready for any situation, how you breathe in this specific way sometimes, and I wish I could breathe with you to make you feel better. And I like how your face looks when you eat your favorite foods. And I, I want to know more about you, talk with you more laugh with you more and and I uh, yeah 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 coward coward <laughs> you can't look away from him I whoa is that a shooting star no. I'm gonna throttle him <laughs> 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 Come on, man! <laughs> I just imagine you can fully see the whites around Sif's eyes, like... <sighs> <laughs> yeah, sure, it was a sh shooting star, man! <laughs> hey, look up! <laughs> Isn't it cool? You look away from him. <laughs> I look up at the starry sky. There's no shooting star. But you don't mind. Oh, Bonnie! <laughs> Aha! See, I told you they'd be here. Ugh. Always interrupting us. Oh, oh we yeah! I was gonna say we had a big day with everyone that, today. Oh, oh my god! This is a big day for for all. Oh! I heard Isa mumble to himself about it earlier. You heard Isa mumble to himself about it earlier, more like. Hi, Seafrim. Hi, Isabo. We figured you'd be here. Can we join you? This is so cute! Everyone is here! Good to see you, everyone! Such a beautiful night! Was it your idea to come here, Isabeau? It was! Under the stars. Huh. How romantic. Very well done, Isabeau. 
<laughs> what? No, no, no. Uh, it wasn't romantic at all. Just, uh, just, uh, just a pal's outing. Uh, a buddy's hangout. I, of course, would bring anyone of you here. Uh-huh. I brought our food so we can eat here. A nightly picnic. Oh, I can smell samosas. Yummy. Yeah, I made a lot of them. Friend, take one. Take two, even. You deserve it. Seafren sure worked hard today, didn't they? Oh, thank you for your help earlier. Oh. You jump. Yes. Thank you, Seafren. You've been a great help today. Friend taught me how to fight. I'll be able to help you tomorrow. Oh, I'm looking forward to it, Bonnie. Zod, did Friend help you today, too? You freeze. <gasps> did you? <laughs> oh, oh! Of course, he, of course, he helped me today. I fucked it up. Isabeau is looking at you, smiling brightly. Thank you for spending time with me, Steve. Oh, you hide your face beneath the rim of your hat. Thank you, oh great helper. Here, have another samosa. And have some pate and bread. I'm sure you want uh, some tea too. And here's some of my curry. Your plate is overflowing. Aww. You see everything on your plate sway back and forth. You eat as much as possible before everything falls down. Oh. You burp. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> 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 nice reflexes, Safe. Everyone starts laughing happily. You laugh, too. You're surrounded by your allies. Your heart lifts. Aww. You love them. Oh. You're glad you got to spend some time with them. You're glad you know them better. You're glad. Friend, you okay? Want some more snacks? You smile. Yes, please. Then eat! Eat as much as you want! You all ate and laughed under the stars. Tomorrow, once again, you'll go into the house and fight the king. But today... Today, you're happy. Really? He doesn't need your help with a quest? Hang out with Isabeau. That was our, our thing with Isa. Yeah. And we didn't get a memory. We didn't get a memory of You're anything right. for that. We won't always remember that. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. <gasps> There's something tragic about that. Yeah. By you won't always remember that. Oh. Oh. The orb. The house's I, gate, huh? I, we can skip this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was so good. That was very good. Uh, that was really, really good. I really liked how, uh, how Isabeau was portrayed. Um, you had a nice time yesterday, hanging out with Isabeau under the stars. There it is. <gasps> okay. You got the memory of stargazing. I was so worried. Don't you worry. You got it. You got it. You'll always remember this. Hi, Stardust! I didn't want to interrupt before, but you got a new memory! When equipped, memory of stargazing boosts all of your fighter's stats by 30! Neat! Wow! Your fighter also learned the skill, we will win! We will win is amazingly strong. When used, it boosts everyone's attack, defense, and attack speed for a few turns. It's so strong, you'll only be able to use it when you you and your fighter have had this exact conversation. So if you loop back to Dormont, you'll have to talk to him all over again. Remember that, okay? But hey, Stardust, it was nice, wasn't it? Hanging out with all of them yesterday. They love you now. Your bond with them is stronger now. Isn't that neat? It is neat. 
You don't want to have to loop back to before you spent that time with them. What would happen if... If you stayed with this version of them... Until the end? Whoa. If you went through the entire house... Without looping ahead. Beat the king. And saw the head house maiden with them. Would anything happen? Would anything change? Time to walk all the way up and beat the king. Okay, the game was just telling us don't loop forward. Yeah, the game was like, you should try that. We did try that last time. <laughs> But now we should try it again well, with our boosted friends. Yeah, I was about to say, luckily this does um, make things a little bit easier with the memory of faith and the memory of stargazing yep. and the memory of... I think you had it equi equipped. Memory of secret t quest. If you have it equipped. Oh, I do. Yeah, Sorry. Memory of Secret Quest. You're right. And then also... Memory, memory of, training. of Training. Okay. 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 Yeah, so it should be... That'll make things a lot easier. Probably, I right? Think so. And now we have to find time craft. Yes. Uh, craftonomy. Yep. Oh, up ahead! That stupid sadness again! Uh, stand still like usual. Attack? What if we just attack it? Yeah. A sadness, huh? The house must be crawling with them. Okay, everyone, let's, um, uh... You strike. Oh, <gasps> so annoying. You have enough of all of these stupid sadnesses standing in your blinding way. Always here, always getting in your way, always slowing you down. Why won't they all die? Not dead yet? You strike again. Not dead, 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 not dead. There we go! Whoa. If our goal was to be normal, we're not. I think I might have failed. I think we might have failed that. <sighs> <laughs> I got it. Whoa. You love me now, right? It's okay. We just did all of that. You love me, and then that happened. You love me now, right? <gasps> no! I guess, is this okay? Here again. Uh, uh. I am sorry. I probably should have. We just had a, a nice day. I probably should have let them. I was the one that said attack. I said do it. Well, I then I also skipped. We 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 double dogged down on. <laughs> <laughs> we had such a nice day, and then we acted really weird twice yeah. in a row. One of them they don't remember. Do we think that counts? Don't kill it in one strike. Worth will notice. Your attack lower. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> do we think they noticed what? Uh, us hanging back or like N being like no I mean do do we think that that reset counted I guess like I don't know I, I don't think it did because was it a was it a full-on whoop or was it just a rewind like we did with the the lady I think it was just the the latter okay then I don't think it counted because we didn't have the tugging sensation like yeah we went that's fair back back um They're still gonna notice. See, friend? You jump and laugh awkwardly. Take the lead, take the lead, take the lead. They're all counting on you. Don't scare them by acting weird. You got the memory of sadnesses! <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. You'll always remember this. When equipped, sadnesses will <gasps> flee from you now. Put that on! I guess that's useful. Wow, we are like so far and above the rest of our our crew here with our level. Yeah, we're we we're, we've definitely gotten there. Um, I guess I'll unequip memory of bomb. Yeah, because we're, <laughs> we're not. That only works if we loop forward, right? Oh, oh, I didn't get the bomb part. Oh no, you did. No, if you put memory of bomb on, it doesn't matter, right? No, only if we loop forward. 
Oh. That's what I was worried about. Oh, shit. We're gonna have to beat the king with... We might still need to do some sadness leveling um, at some point. I well, really not. hope me Actually, killing that sadness didn't wreck whatever it is we're doing. Yeah. Well, you know, if we got the memories of everybody when they get all of their boosts, I think that's to help, like, offset the, you know, the fact that we're going to make sadnesses run from us is that we've had yeah. all of their memories equipped. So even though they're under level, I think we're still not in a shit place whenever we fight the king because they have their memories. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I know, I know. Uh, it, we're all good there. I'm more just, I, I really... I don't think that messed it up. I don't think that messed it up. I That felt like something that was supposed to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was so tempting. <laughs> yes, and I, I said do it. I said attack, so I feel a little responsible. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. That was me. Ding, ding. Uh <laughs> okay. All right, yep. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we should listen to any of these conversations to see if there's anything new happening. Probably. It feels like there's going to be new stuff this time. Yeah. Um, but maybe in key places. I don't know if it's going to be in the in the normal, like, conversations. I yeah, don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. Yep. I'll I'll try. Catch me catch me out on it sometimes. Yeah. I'll say once in a while we can stop and uh just listen to a conversation. Get everyone over there. Oh. Yep. Oh wait! See for just remember this room. It's Yep. We know. Ah! You start walking away. Let's go, everyone. Okay. See if you had such a good day. <sighs> you had such a good day. This is this is a safe self sabotaging. <laughs> yeah, this that is true. That is you know? really, really true. Ugh, such a good day. Let's just fucking power the fuck through. Fuck this place. I just want to be with my friends. And yeah. Oh. This is the moodoo book. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay. Some broths. I don't think we need anything until we get to the candles room. Um. No. Wow. The sadness is fleeing from you is kind of amazing. Yeah, it's 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 something. I agree. Oh, and then there's this the one. Okay. I think yeah, and then we fight this one. Okay. Okay. All right. Whoo! All right. I mean, we can speed run. I, I, I'm feeling this deep tension in myself of like, <laughs> we can speed run our way to the top, but also I want to know what's going on. You know, like. Yes. I want to, Which... and I also want to see if we can get like new um, uh, dialogue and stuff like that. And so I want to click on a bunch of things to see whether we get new dialogue, but I, I don't say know. go for it. Uh, I feel like the game has very lovingly crafted this tension here. Yes, you know? I agree. Uh, it feels very intentional. Go, Bonnie. Wow, good job, Bon. Yep, Bonnie never misses anymore. Amazing. Ow. I was We're gonna amazing. get an all-out attack, which I probably should have to healed, but uh, to, to healed to heal. <laughs> um, but you know. Okay. Okay. It's all good. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Anywhere. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay. And then we'll clear this way. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, this is... We have never even explained tears. Yeah. Those were tears. The villagers in Dormont call them tears, and if you touch them, you get frozen in time. Good thing we found this crest, then. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Um, oh. oh, stars! Hit your hip on the counter and bite your lip really hard. Why do you never remember the stupid counter? Oh no, Sif! Did you, did you, bleh, do you still have trouble judging distance? Let us know if you'd like anyone else to take the lead. We didn't, oh. we didn't meow. We didn't say nya. Yep. We just bit our lip. Yep. Oh no, it's falling apart. We're getting less fun. 
We're getting less fun and nice and cool, which is weird because yesterday was a really good day. Which is why everyone is going to notice it. And by the end, like, the end of this, they're going to be like, see, what the fuck is wrong with you? What is going on? Yeah. This is starting to feel a little more like start again yeah no this st this is starting to feel like start again you know like yes. i feel like we we're reaching Which, that point. again is weird just because <laughs> start again oh boy was was deep into it it was really deep into it and we're not even that i mean we're no deep we're into nowhere it, but close but we're not that deep yet like man I get that cool but i'm starting i'm starting to feel that sensation yeah, yeah. me too well, especially because Odile, like, blocking everybody from us. That, that yeah. Oh, spooky, that, spooky, spooky. That really was. I mean, they just watched us, like, jump up to the sadness and just brutally, like, slash and stab it to death. Yep. Um, they did. Which we've established, like, these sadnesses used to be people. Like, yeah, there so they're is. still, they're, like, alive. Got the it. Craft -onomy book. I was like, I thought it was on floor, floor one, but I didn't want to say with, like, you know, confidence. Agreed. Yep. A craftonomy book. Ooh, is this a craftology book? Piercing craft, creative craft. Where's the protecting craft chapter? It's a craftonomy book, not a craftology book. This one is about the study of craft, not your fortune. A book about the study of craft? Could it have any information about time craft, maybe? Does that craftonomy book have anything on time craft? Timecraft? What for? Hmm. Is it related to our... It is It is related to our situation, isn't it? With the king? We don't have time... What's timecraft? I don't know what that is. Should we have a crash course on timecraft then? Ugh. Fine. Odile flips through the book. Hmm does have a section on timecraft. All right. So timecraft is, as the name implies, the power to wield and craft time itself. It's a type of craft that's been hypothesized to exist for decades, but its existence has never been proven. Until now, right? Stopping time. That's what the king does, right? So the king is using... Timecraft? The king most likely is, yes. Which would make it the first time in history someone managed to harvest that power. Outside of stories told in family tales, that is. I've heard scholars outside of Volgard are really excited right now. Timecraft confirmed to be real. Yeah, but it's fucked up a lot of people's lives. Mm -hmm. So they're happy because he froze people in time? Well, it's more complicated than that. Morals aside, it does change everything we know about Timecraft. Think about how Timecraft could be used. The king is only stopping people's is only stopping people's time, but it could be used for many other things. It could be used to hasten or slow people's time too. Maybe make people's bodies younger or older. Maybe make buds grow into trees in an instant. Worst case scenario, it could be used to change history itself. Crafting time to go back in time and change history. Whoa! Whoa. The possibilities are endless and terrifying. Definitely not the kind of power you want in someone's hands. And definitely not someone like the king. And, correct me if I'm wrong, but crafting time wouldn't be like crafting clay or a uh, to a specific shape, or crafting a sword. Those are those are easy enough to do and won't tire you out. But crafting time? Something as basic and essential as time? Wouldn't it ask for immense amounts of power? Exactly. Crafting clay barely asks for any power from the user, but crafting time. It was theorized that. Crafting time, even to pause time for a single second, would probably kill the user instantly. Huh. Kill them dead? Kill them dead. And yet, the king is still alive? So it raises the question, 
What gave him enough power to use Timecraft without dying? And how did he learn to use it? Good questions, Izabo. You have a pretty smart you have pretty smart insights sometimes. <laughs> I sure do. Hmm. Timecraft is what the king uses and it's dangerous. Got it. I suppose talking about this was useful. I'm surprised you're curious about this though, Seafrin. You shrug. Hmm. Timecraft. A type of craft that allows the user to control time. Isn't that what you and the king have been using? But neither of you should be able to use it. Using it would ask for immense amount of, uh, amounts of power. So then, what gave you this power? Do you think wiping out an entire country could maybe be enough to equivalent exchange this amount of power maybe, to us? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Maybe you should ask the king about this. Yeah. But what if it isn't enough? What if he doesn't want to tell you anything about Timecraft? You've talked to the king and the hand housemaiden. Are those really the only two people that would know anything about the loops you're stuck in? Who else could you talk to about the loops? To theorize. Oh, wait. There is one person. I'm assuming loop? Yeah, couldn't we? Don't we have a a thing? Talk to loop? Yeah. Uh, do we? I thought we did. I thought we did too, but I don't remember what it is. I don't remember what it is. Is it a craft? Craft? Might be a craft. Call loop. Yeah, there it is. You make the secret hand sign and think about talking to loop. You close your eyes. Hello, hello, loop speaking. Thank you for calling. Now, how may I help you? Hmm. Let's talk about something. Well, I'd love to chat, Stardust, but you have other things to do, don't you? Come by and see me anytime. We'll have time to, to chat about whatever you want. I had a question about... Anything down here? Oh, this is just to help you with the game. Oh, you're doing so many different things. Okay, this isn't this is a mechanical call loop to yeah. figure out what you're doing. This is we're gonna have to find out more about the loops. Oh yeah. About the loops. Mm, maybe not. What should I do now? So you found more about Timecraft. The head housemaiden just repeated everything when you saw her. What else could you do to find out more about the loops? Maybe you could talk to someone whose name is Loop, huh? Oh, we need okay, to talk. Okay, all right. We need to talk Go to back to person. Dormont. Go back to Dormont. Fine, fine, all fine, right. fine, fine. Which, oh, yikes. So that means that just like confirms when we get to the end of this loop and once we talk to the king and ha after the end of the loop that had the perfect day. Yeah, but we're going to know that yet. We're going to go all the way back again and loop back and talk to loop. Oh, man. Woof. Oh, I feel tired for him right now mm -hmm. oh that makes me sad oh and we're gonna have to have the perfect day again and then like fucking breeze through it like yeah. oh that's awful like we got so close to them and it felt so nice but then it's gonna be just a routine that we do now i know it was something that was genuinely beautiful and lovely oh wow that one didn't oh. get away huh i think you just walked into it <laughs> I was walking straight. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's supposed to run. It's fair. It's <laughs> fine. We should get a little, a little, a little. XP yeah, it's good to get them something. Yeah. Even even if they've got the the thirty plus boost. Yeah. To you. Ooh. So does Isabo have the paper mache gloves on? Yes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Because equipment stays. Woo! All right, well, huh, jeez. Uh, wow. This whole thing, right? This is rough, rough. Yeah, oy. Um, I'm on a different save that, I have a save that's pre us finishing everyone's uh, quest lines. Okay. Just, just so you know. Okay, cool, thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay. 
It's the the big one. It's All right. A, it's big ball head. That's right. Big, our, our favorite. Big ball head. The one whose neck has been cut off. Yeah. I, I didn't realize that until later. Later. <laughs> until like we actually looked at it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> ding ding ding. Hello. Okay. Yep. It is a scissors sign indeed. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We got okay. this, everybody. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. No, it's it's worry. really okay. We we are so powerful and so good. God, that's so powerful. That's so good. Woo! Feeling amazing. I also, I guess the other thing about all the super attacks that you get if you do those is like they're allowed, like they make it easier to scale the um, the house from bottom to top if that's something we want to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's interesting. She just, she's got no rock. Um, Curses, that's- God well, damn it. I mean, I guess we could still do an all-out rock attack. It just won't do as much. Will it hurt? Yeah, it's immune. <gasps> yeah. Oh, no! That's what I thought. Yep. Oh. Oh, well. It's Damn. okay. That's <laughs> That's frustrating. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's paper. Like, we need to hit it with paper. Yep. Yep. Um, okay. Turn it up. <laughs> it's you, my friend. I also should probably speed us up and do all the basic stuff like that, but that's okay. That's fine. Yeah. I'm truly not concerned. <laughs> no, I, this is, it won't be that big of a deal. Pop, pop, pop. Ow. Please don't change. Okay. Damn. Does her base attack do paper or, oh. Yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, no, she scissors. She scissors? Okay, yep. I couldn't remember. Go ahead and make up the time. Why not? Cool. Go, Bonnie! Pop. Big hit, Bonnie. Bonnie's I like, it. I will prove my worth. Oh. I learned how to fight, and I'm here to take down the boss. Amazing, Bonnie. Uh, uh, pretty buff friend. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. I'm it. sorry. I'm being flippant because I can. The game has given me the, no, it's the leniency to, to just kind of play lightly. And I love that because that's exactly how Seif is probably mm -hmm. feeling too. I agree. It's like the game actually gets easier over time. Yeah. You know? Which is very interesting. Uh -huh. It's a great way to go about it. Yeah. All craft. You know what? Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not? Sorry, I'm not used to our new... Uh... Our specials? Yeah, exactly. I, I like it. It's cool. Uh, oh, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, this makes it a lot easier. I should have just started with this. <laughs> just, just debuff the whole goddamn thing. Exactly. This is awesome. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What the? Yeah. What the hell? Bye. That's it. All right. Gosh, that was lovely. Didn't even matter. We're sixty. Level, we're level sixty. Welcome to level sixty, Sifrin. Oh, holy shit. Hope you shit. like it. All right. Okay. Wow. Wow. The floor two. That was the, honestly, that was a really quick floor one. I, I appreciated that. I'm super grateful for it. And I'm curious to, oh, I'm curious to hear if our friends are starting to notice that we are strong. Um, This is where we're going to rest. Yep. Technically our first rest. Uh, Yeah, we can just skip. And we're, oh, we don't even nod. You're right. Okay. Oh. Uh. Odile lost the the coin flip that time. Okay. Friends, huh? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, what's this? This is the favorite oh, tree. This is the favorite tree. Yeah. Yep. And Bonnie's okay. like, okay, cool. The favorite yep. tree is real. Okay. Yep. And we've got plantains. Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, we can we can uh get the, the second floor um uh, we can re-explore what happens during the second floor snack time this time. Oh, you're yeah. right. Oh, no. Because that's something I wanted to do. Yep, it sure is. Okay. Okay. Which one do... Let's have a cookie. Yeah, we I'll have... take a cookie. There! You! Go! We as well, please. Bonnie hands you and Mirabelle a cookie. Delicious, delicious cookies. Boring. But you could never get sick of them. 
<laughs> so, do you all like it? Like it? Did I do a good job as snack leader? You nod, but prepare yourself for what comes next. Yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Um. Do not make Bonnie sad. Thank you, snack leader, for this delicious meal. Oh, this is so good. Thank you, Bonnie. Mmm, so good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, oh, we've already done that. Again, anything? I was just curious if if there's anything new. Oh yeah, that's different. Oh. Oh you're... no, it's not. Oh yeah, yes it is. Yeah. You're my cousin who I see once a year and we have a really good time. Oh. Yeah, that was oh, different. That's different. Here Aww. we go. That's... The people in the house. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Make a smile. Had a meeting with a plum today. Yeah. It was a very fruitful meeting. Oh no, was it? Sorry for assuming you <laughs> know. Oh, we said something new there, I think. Oh, maybe not. What a pitiful experience for me. <laughs> you kind of brought it back. <laughs> you chuckle along with her. I think that was a little new. It was a little new. Yeah. I, I think Sif was like, I gotta, I gotta reclaim I my, my honor next time that happens. I gotta recover. Oh. Yes, please, Mr. Amazing, Wonderful, Funny Buff Isabel. Huh. What? Cookie. Safe. You can't just say that. I, I really have the heart of a delicate maiden, you know? You have to be careful with me. Yeah, you feel awful about the cookie, too. Oh. Hmm. I hope I didn't make Bonnie upset earlier. You both look Bonnie's way. Okay. That's it. Okay. All right. All right. A little bit different. A little bit. Good to good to check in, you know, and just see. Okay. Right. What What do we want to do on this floor? Anything? Um, that is a good question. I'm thinking. Well, we don't want to loop, so we can't veer too far off. Yeah, that's I'm true. Go ahead and get this key. Da -da -da. Yep, yep, yep. Out of disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Oh, wait. They've already said that before. Yeah. Okay. This is just not skippable. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I think we can go. Oh, I want to go back to that room with the stars. Uh, I always want to go back to that room. Yeah. But the only way we can get there it's, is, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a dead end. It's dead end. It sucks. Um, what we are going to need to do if we want to go forward without looping is get actually get the key knife. Oh, you're right. We need to repair the key knife. Yeah. You're totally right. So that'll be that that is a notable difference. Yep. I didn't see what this one was. It looks like paper. Nope, it's scissors. Scissors. Okay. Rock rock. <laughs> and another rock. And we'll need one more rock. One more rock. In a sec. <laughs> <laughs> go, Bonnie, go! Good. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you. And. All out. Wrap rock. this up, buddy. Fight's fucking over. Get out of here. Easy peasy. Ugh. Whatever. We're at level 60. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Starcrest. Amazing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I um, want to eat nuts directly from the barrel. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, we need a little. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going as fast as I can. We're we're speed running this while also trying to pay attention to things going on around us. No, you're good. We're being present, but forward thinking. <laughs> yep. I I mean the other thing I was gonna say uh, is it. I mean we could also jump around if you want instead of like like running in between stuff. If I guess that's, that's faster, true. That's up to you. You know, like until we like hit something, I, either way is cool with me. I think, yeah, it's just hard for me to know when we hit something. I know. Yeah. I know that's bad. We are doing this though. This is important. Yes, for sure. This is the, the, the touch scene, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Oh, the tiny dying plants. Sorry. 
Oh. Well, pla passing through, you take a deep breath and... Whoa! D don't poke my side, Seif! I'm ticklish! Oh, that's wonderful information to have. <laughs> you feel lightheaded. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> that is uh, <laughs> dangerous information. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Okay. And then uh, we get the... It's on the other key. side. I know it's on the other side. I know it's on the other side. Ah, okay. We will take that. Thank you very much. Okay. Yep. Got the key. Rock key. Rock key. We also need scissors key. Yeah, but we need to go into the the library to get that big old rock. Yep. Do you think there's, uh, other than time craft, do you think the fifth uh, craft will be gun? <laughs> <laughs> other than time craft. Yeah. <laughs> I guess sixth craft. <laughs> I think so. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> yep, absolutely. <laughs> Surprise gun craft. <laughs> Did I get the earrings back? Can I give them to the teacher again? Does it matter? No. Maybe not. Do I care? Yes. <laughs> it might not matter for this loop, but potentially once we get everyone unlocked from time. I'm sorry. Maybe. I wasn't. I just was clicking. I just was clicking. Yeah, I just was clicking. Okay. <laughs> I, I have another thought. Yeah. Do we think that... We're gonna bring back color. Do no. we think color will ever come back? Or I think clo color's colors clearly a plot point, but I I, I can't imagine this game in color. I can't either. Like, is color just a long lost thing? Like, I don't know. Great question. I think it's very interesting. The setup for, or not the setup, but at least the lore of how the 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 knowledge of color is kind of gone. Color has gone from the Oh yeah. I was wondering whether now that she's already seen the family tale, whether she'd notice this. Yeah, okay. Papras family tale, huh? Interesting. Odile looks your way. Very interesting. You look away. Okay. That's that is exactly what I was curious about. Yeah. Cool stuff, cool stuff, cool stuff. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I'm being suspicious, being suspicious. We sure are. I don't know if that's gonna fly in my face or not. We'll see. Odile, we're friends. Remember? We're friends. You and me, we're friends. But didn't we do the the Papras uh family tale this loop? Yeah. Yeah. That's why so. she was like, huh. Yeah. Interesting that we're learning about this here after. Oh, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Because so we used that information to find it. We did. She's like, huh. We did. I think she's so gonna that's how you found out about that. She's gonna put it together, I think. We're asking about timecraft. We knew, we already knew about the Papros family tale. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she's 100%, I think, gonna put it together. And we're also speed running and being a little weirdo, so. Yep. Okay. Uh, you remember which one? Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, the bottom it's one. It's the right? bottom one, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Go down for the key. Okay, go down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's was, normal. Yeah, yeah that's I was just like, normal. Uh? <sighs> now I'm like we hyper. Are doing something first though. I'm getting the shards. Yes. I'm like hyper aware of. Oh, which one was this? Open phrase. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> what was the? Okay, yeah. That's so smart. It's not. <laughs> I want the I want these. Yes. The vial, but it's broken. The pieces of glass catch in the light, making them almost sparkle. Got the shiny piece of glass. You discreetly put the piece of glass in your pocket along with the souvenirs. So we used that last time we and did. we cut ourselves and Bonnie was like, "No!" Yes. But this time we took it. Huh. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. I had a burnt one. Oh, it just brings back. I had a burnt one once. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cut. Okay. Uh, now down. Now key. Down we go. Continuing. We're making our way along at record speed. We're going so fast. Uh. Oh. Yep. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. 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 Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. And floor boss, and then devastation is what we're hoping for. Yep. It's gonna happen. That's what we're willing into the universe. Oh. Oh, it feels rough. Oh, you, you almost I know. voluntarily fought that <laughs> It's the sadness. tall boys. Those tall boys, <laughs> even when they're running away, are a pain in my butt. Woo! Okay. We are healed. We are going to save. Yes. Close my single eye. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that we're saying that. Yeah. Oh. So if it's changing, slowly but surely. Oh. Oh. So not for the better. Uh, well... For maybe that that was a little more acceptance, right? Yeah, that, that that's good. That that is good. I will say net maybe not better. Yeah, that that's sort of what I I wasn't yeah. referring to that <laughs> that specific thing. More just saying, yeah. Yeah. Definitely changing. It's what the change god wanted it all along. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this it? I'm just imagining Sif turning and just start screaming at the change god like fucking uh, uh like idol in the middle of town at the end being like is this what you wanted is this what you wanted god like uh why won't you say anything <laughs> this fucking silent god watching this happen oh i didn't go speak to the change god this time that's a fair point oh we didn't get a boost yeah oh, well. you're right well we were supposed to did you not it's been so long no i didn't this time mm -hmm. i i always don't save at the change god uh in town because i only want to do that once mm. and then i forgot so <laughs> that right. worked out really well oh well that's for me. okay ah fuck the change Good god. Hit. <laughs> yeah take that change god yeah we don't we don't need your blessing Ugh. Mm hmm you're We're protected. You're hypothetically putting me in this situation. We don't know that for sure. <laughs> okay. I can just attack. Scissors. What is it doing? Healing. Yep. Okay. It sacrificed itself to heal the other one. Right. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Death. Um. This is, oh, this is a paper one? Yeah. Yeah, this is paper one. I haven't done the thing where I make it weak, but that doesn't matter. We're about to do an all out, so. Exactly. Cool, that was cool. Hopefully this we can cool. just take this thing down. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. 61! Whoo wee! Gorgeous, we love it, we love it, we love it. Whoo wee! All right, here we go. Like truly, our, our crew has got to notice how fast we're going through here, right? I mean, they're just like, we're cruising. We're, we're having a great time. It, this is going so great. Okay, no, okay. this is the scene. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh. That's a new one, right? Say it a normal voice. Bonnie has a crab face. Hmm. You give a thumbs up. Oh. So beam, Stephen. Good. Um. Okay, so... If any of you bites the dust, what should we do with your body? Um. <laughs> what? You're not gonna. You're not gonna fast forward. Do to you this, want me right? to? No, I don't. I think we should read it out and see what mm -hmm. happens. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask. I, I know it's not the best moment, but most of us have different beliefs, don't we? So, well, in case change forbid. One of us dies today, and the others are able to honor your body. How should we do it? Like, Madame Odile, is there a Kabuin way, or...? No, it's... It's a valid concern. Well, in Kabue, you'd burn the body and take the ashes to a gem maker to transform them into a diamond, but that won't be easily feasible, will it? You change into a diamond?! Hardcore. But if that's not doable, you can donate my body to any house in Vogard. If Vogard is saved, I'm sure they'd have a use for the body of a savior. Uh, well, the House of Change recommends burying your body under a tree so our body can nurture the nature around it. Be part of change and all that. Is it the same for you, Isabeau? I mean, I'd be dead, right? So I don't really care that much 
about later. I'm trying to find the moment. Okay, He's, so yeah, Bonnie ne- stopped. Bonnie just stopped moving. Yeah. Okay. It's they stopped the moment Isabeau started talking. Yeah. Up until that, they were still cooking, but when when he was like, "I'd be dead, so it wouldn't matter." That's when they were like, "Yep." That's when they stilled. Yeah. I was watching the whole yep. time. Yeah. Oh. Why are you all talking about that? Will why are you all even talking about what will happen if we lose? Oh. What? Uh, Bonnie! You're listening? I'm a master cooker, so I can cook and listen to you guys talk. And I think it's stupid to worry about what's gonna happen if we lose. But, Bon Bon. No, listen! Cause me and friend promised, you know? Friend promised he wouldn't get hurt protecting people anymore. Oh, this is interesting. So this is a third variant. This is a third variant. Because I feel like this would have been different if we had come here before we had this scene. Yeah, but we, since we had the fight, you know, the training with Bonnie oh, and told them that we promised we wouldn't get hurt protecting anyone. Oh, but I wonder what would have happened if we did the... Like the second variant, if this is the third variant and we saw the first. Oh, I wonder maybe. what the second one would have been. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Well, we can potentially find out later. Yeah. You know, if we decide not to hang out with Bonnie. I guess that's fair. You know? Yeah. And I promise I'd protect Frin. So if I protect Frin, I protect all of you. So, so if I'm here, no one will get hurt. That's a Bonnie promise. Bonnie looks at you and offers you a big smile. Bonnie! Oh. <laughs> I am... Oh, am I really getting reassured by a kid right now? <laughs> well, if Bon Bon is saying it, I believe it! You and Bonnie will protect us? I... I won't accept such a one-sided promise! If you both will protect us, we'll protect both of you, too! We'll protect each other! Indeed we will. Don't worry, Bon Bon. Don't worry, Seif. We'll all fight, and we'll all live! You nod, smiling. So, to make sure we have enough energy to protect each other, isn't it- (gasps) It's snack time, baby! Today I have- um, okay, and then this is the... Well, boy, that certainly was a, a nicer outcome than... <laughs> that was so much kinder. Yeah. Wow. I'll try the pineapple. Wait! You like pineapples, too? I didn't know! Pineapples are one of my three favorite foods. Sounds like you have good taste sometimes, Frin. Pony hands you the snack. You bite into it, chewing on the fruit. Tastes spicy. Oh, we're allergic to pineapples. I forgot. <gasps> I forgot. I forgot we're allergic to pineapple. Oh, no! <laughs> I knew there was a... I'm going to be real. I knew there was a reason we were avoiding it. <gasps> I knew there was a reason we were avoiding it. I can't... <laughs> <laughs> Did... Oh, no. We it fucked said, it up. don't loop forward, right? <laughs> That's it what said, it said. Don't loop forward. Fuck me. Oh, no! (laughs) After all of that, we ate some pineapple and fucking died. Can you believe? Can you believe we did all of- We did this whole episode, and then we ate pineapple and we died. (laughs) Tastes spicy. Bleh. And we just went into anaphylactic shock. Should I reload? I just saved. You did just save, so maybe just reload. (laughs) There's wow. I oh boy. I mean I guess that's how you're supposed to learn that Bonnie likes pineapple. But that also confirms our You're allergic to pineapples! Didn't Loop say you were allergic to pineapples? Loop was right! You're allergic? What? Loop is gonna have a field day with this one. The pineapple is pretty good though. <laughs> Oh, maybe make a save. Make a save of that one. Okay, you're right. And you're then right. you're right. You're right. You're right. And you're then right. go back to save six. But how are we even gonna? How is this gonna? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying as backup. Yep. Okay. I All right. I don't really know. How far back are we? Load. 
How far back are we? Not far. Just pre pre the the double fight. Okay. Okay. I'd been saving as we went through. That's good. Okay. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Wow. I I knew there was a reason I'd been avoiding <laughs> the pineapples. It's because Loop told us we were allergic to pineapples. Yeah. Like we didn't actually know we were allergic to pineapples until Luke, to- Luke told us. Uh, and I don't even know if that meant ma- like if if we had looped back or looped forward, I genuinely don't know if that would even matter because also we've already done a funky little a little loop in here. Right, but uh, but see, Bonnie was responding like yeah, like that's we, the thing. Like right? they had remembered our hangout time, like like we had had that time happen. So I think that means that. It's fine, right? <laughs> it's fine, right? But Gosh. but that one, the loot, I I'm unsure. I'm I don't unsure I about don't that. I don't know this the, whole thing. That one we might want to check save 7 at some point and progress it and see what it gives us. I mostly you know? just want to see the conversation with Loop where Loop is like, "I told you Stardust." But since we loaded oh, the save, you silly little thing. I know. But since we loaded this safe, they're not going to have that conversation with us, right? No. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could see that if we, like... Go through safe seven. Yes, exactly. But that's its own... That's a whole... That's its own thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Gosh. (laughs) All that shit just to die by pineapple. I know. Look, I feel silly. I, I fully acknowledge... That's that was a goofy way to go. No, nope, it's, uh, <laughs> it's all good. It's we, you were right. We were we were really avoiding it. Oh shit, that's fine. I, I guess do an all-out paper attack because. Yep, it'll it'll heal. It'll heal, and yeah. There we go. Even though I know it's not gonna do that much. It's well, still a good chunk. Yeah, it, it, it'll it'll be fine. Now we can do a, a scissor scissors moves and then be done. Exactly. One more hit from our... Well, you know what? Just pop pop. Just pop it. There you go. Nice. Okay. Amazing. See? We weren't set back that far. 61. Loving we weren't set, up, yep. set back that far at all. We're just going to have to go have snacks again and not eat pineapple. Yes. that Our takeaway is we, just, we can power through that conversation and not eat pineapple. Yeah. And we'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> God. Wow. <laughs> Wow. And thus ends the tale. Oh, it's fucking tragic. In the best possible loop. Bonnie has a crab face. Yeah, it's in the best possible loop. Um, and then Bonnie's gonna step in. Yep. Okay. And this is all new. Yep, and they're talking like we had our protection. I do, I really do wonder what would have happened if we came here prior to this, though. But it's fine. It doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. it might. I don't know. It I don't might know matter. what matters. I, I, I kind of want to, I just want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, man, the like, the whimsical music just kind of makes it creepy. Mm-hmm. It's not creepy. It's supposed to be charming. But there's just an, there's underlying dread to everything. So, well, because there's the little, there's the slight feeling that no matter how much you, you love these people, that they're, they're little marionettes. Yeah. That can only go so far out of their their pre-programmed, you know, loops. Yeah. That's sad. That's tragic. Yeah. Bonnie, friend, do you see me? I'm going to touch you now. Bonnie slowly raises their hand and slowly moves it towards your hand and slowly pats your hand. Good kid. Good kid. You didn't even jump that time. Good job! You did such a good job! You laugh. <laughs> See, friend? You tilt your head. <laughs> Sorry. I just wanted to say your name. Mira. See, friend. Mira. <laughs> Sif. No! Ah! Sif is my see friend nickname, Mira. You, ha- you have to pick another one. I'm sorry. I won't budge on that. Gems alive, Isabeau. I, uh, I mean, uh. What? But you and Seafriend share Mira? It's not fair. Hmm. Uh, that's true. All right. In the spirit of fairness, we get joint custody of Seaf then. You know, I think I'll pick another nickname for Seafriend after all. 
What what where are you gonna pick? We've got friend and we've got Seif, so is it gonna be Mm? <laughs> yeah, I was like if Seif. <laughs> 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 uh, Thank you for talking to Bonbon bon yesterday. Huh? Why? Why? Well, because they managed to look you in the eye earlier, that's why. Didn't think it was gonna happen anytime soon, after the whole incident, I guess. Uh, about my eye, you mean? Well, yeah. I always felt like you didn't really care about what happened, but... Bonbon's little, you know? Even if they felt like you didn't blame them for it, it's still a lot of emotions for a kid to handle. But knowing you, you probably thought Bonbon bon started hating you for no reason, yeah? <laughs> Figured. I guess I should have talked to you about it, but I, d I didn't feel like it was my place. So that's why I'm glad you two talked yesterday. Good job, Seif. Good job. Here. Have a Madeline. You feel pa uh, patronized. <laughs> you take the Madeline. I'll take the cookie. <laughs> yeah, I feel Hi. like I'm about to get chewed out. You know, see, friend, this journey has made me feel really older than my years. Having a preteen say they'll do their best to protect me. Am I really this useless? Don't worry, deal. I'll protect you because you're old and I'm young. <laughs> but you can protect me because you're old and I'm young. <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah. Well, okay then. <laughs> okay. <Ooh. Huh. laughs> I feel like I dodged a bullet. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. All of those were great though. Those are very good. We got some new stuff. Yeah. Some progress on save six. Or... Save eight, whatever you're feeling. Uh, six. It can be uh, six. It, we, we'll just have to remember what save seven is. Save seven is pineapples. <laughs> pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> and save five is pre pre um our 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 multi friend hangout. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Wow. All right. Wow. Interesting. 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 Okay. This was. I feel like every episode we come away being like, that was a lot. Yep. This is a dense game. It's always funny because like usually around, this is maybe uh, oversharing, but around like the 40 minute or like the 35 minute point of every episode, I'm like, surely we've been playing for over an hour by this point because we've done so much. I know. And it happens every episode of this game. Literally. I was like, wow, that was so much. And I look at the timer and I was like, 45 minutes. I'm like, what? I know. <laughs> Oh, we've done uh, like what's re it really packs it in. It really, really does. This is a dense game. Yeah. Um, oh boy. So next time we'll go up to floor three. We'll get the um, key knife for the first, uh, like the second time. Yes. Um, and uh, I'm intrigued to see how the rest of this loop goes. I gotta say. Yeah, we're gonna go talk to the king and see if we can get the king to talk to us about time craft and about the loops. See if we can do anything with the. Yep. Uh the head housemaid in, well, but I and doubt also, it. If we, if we get to the, the top floor before we deal with the housemaid, we'll actually talk with everyone and get the Isabeau scene. I wonder if it'll be different because we had our starlight hangout. I don't know. Oh, you're right. Yeah, may maybe he'll say something this time. Yeah, it's also possible that Odile puts down her foot before we even get there and is like, what's that's going what, on? That's what I'm really worried yeah. about is that Odile's going to butt in and say something beforehand. Yeah, but we did reverse time on the on the stabby stab, so. That's true. Yeah. Oh boy, true. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, oh boy. That was a lot. Yes. That happened and I was like, oh, wow. Wow. Uh, oh yeah, we'll see when we get to the top floor if any of our friends uh, call us out on our bullshit at any point too yeah uh, wow all right well thank you everyone yeah i'm looking forward to next time sounds good see you then bye